I always think back to like when I first started watching wrestling and how I felt when I watched wrestlers like perform and to me it was like a giant live action cartoon like I just I wanted to be that that hero on the pages of the comic books you know what I mean in a live setting so like when I go out there and I'm in my gear I feel like I'm one of those heroes like to those kids so I know how they feel because I used to be them in the crowd watching wrestlers and uh, it's it's so important that uh to me that the kids have a good time, especially when you're after the match and you're in the crowd and they come up with just the biggest smiles on their face. My name is Travis Banks, I'm 27 and I'm a professional wrestler in New Zealand. I think it was the first time I watched it. I remember uh, I wasn't too sure what it was, I'd never seen it before and I remember like at the time I was a massive Mortal Kombat fan. On the screen was a character called Glacier in WCW and I remember seeing it going, is this is this Mortal Kombat? I was asking and they were like, no, it's wrestling, it's wrestling. And I, I was just completely taken by the gimmick and the characters and like the colorfulness of it all. So from the very moment that I saw wrestling, I knew that was a different passion and I wanted something that I wanted to pursue, so yeah. I pretty much gave up my whole old life to start fresh as a wrestler. So I left my old life behind me and started as a wrestler and that was a pretty big sacrifice at the time. Like, at the time it was pretty impossible for me to think that I could do such a thing. But like, now that I look back, oh, I'm glad I did it. Like, I left everything, I left my hometown, I left my rugby team, I left everything, and I moved on, and I just started fresh, just with a suitcase, just as a, like, didn't even know what to expect, and I started as a wrestler. I don't ever hardly ever see my parents anymore, but they understand why, that I'm, you know, making this effort to be something more. It seems so selfish, but you feel like it's, it's going to be worth it in the end. And your next contender, coming down at 183 pounds, My character, like, it's actually pretty much an extension of myself. It's, uh, I would just call it a more intense version of me, like, when the spotlight's on me, like that's my time to shine sort of thing. So I just bring out my better qualities. Like whenever I train, whenever I do anything, I do it 100% as I said before. It's, I do things with intensity and just with my character, I get to do that, but bring it out and show it off and the crowd can see it that way. I've always been real big on training. Like I believe that training is the key to success. It's pretty simple, but that's kind of what I live by. And, um, it hasn't been so lately, but recently I've been training every day, like seven days a week, sometimes twice a day. It's a little bit excessive, but and then I've also got wrestling trainings four times a week as well. So I really, especially within New Zealand, I really try to make a better standard for this country. Um, I want to be the example like that people follow, so I try and push myself harder than anybody else. Imagine you're pumped up on adrenaline for like for like an hour like just when the crowds behind you and you hear like them chanting your name you just like there's no other feeling I've ever experienced like that could give you that kind of a rush um, just yeah when the people are behind you it's just it's just really great this is I can't describe I can't describe it that well so. if you're gonna follow your passion make sure you do it a hundred percent there's no it's not a hobby, it's not like, if you really want to do it, you're going to make it happen. So, it, it's such a hard road, if I'm going to relate it to wrestling, like it's been step by step, inch by inch, but I always feel like it's for something greater. So, if I, if I was going to tell them, like, just go 100%, like, don't hold back, you need to do it for yourself.